Hey guys, I got a bit of a surprise the other day. I was working out in the garage and a package came to the door from launch. I wasn't really expecting it, but back in the summer, I did a review video on the Sea Reader 3001 from launch. It's an OBD2 scanner, um, just a basic one, about 30 bucks, um, under 30 bucks, I think, and uh, really cool product. So they liked that review. They decided to send me a Christmas present and send the brand new Sea Reader 3008, which is uh, quite a bit of an upgraded model in a lot of respects. So rather than just keep it to myself, I decided I'm gonna make a video for you guys. We're gonna do an unboxing on this thing, take a look at some of the features, and also do a full review video. So as much as I've done with this, I've taken it out of the box that came from Amazon that they sent it in. This is it here, We've got all the different things it does. Looks like it does quite a bit. Uh, basically similar functions to what we would have had on that Sea Reader 3001. Um, the 3008 though, it's got a 2.8 inch color TFT screen, 320 by 240 pixel resolution, so really nice screen and uh, weighs about 12 ounces. So we'll see what the build quality of it is like. Some really cool things that it does that I uh, wasn't really expecting that you can do. You can actually print the data that you, uh, you have. Also on it, it's got some uh, quick buttons here, but uh, rather than look at the box, let's open her up, see what we get inside. Okay, so there's the device. Actually looks a little bit bigger um, than I was expecting, but uh, just like all the launch products I've seen, it's very nice quality, good rubber grip on it, good solid buttons like usual. We got a serial connector up here, which this cable here is our serial cable to OBD2. Got a USB cable, which actually I didn't mention there's a USB port on this. Another really cool thing about this guy is we can plug it into our computer and update software. So if they make any changes to it, maybe add some parameters to it, um, we'll be able to get those. So you're, uh, you're not buying a piece of electronics here that's gonna be obsolete right away. And then a little uh, dust cap, I guess, for, for storage for the OBD2 connector. So that's everything that's in the box. Um, looks like you get pretty basic little quick start guide to get you going. But these things are pretty straightforward. Just going to connect up the uh, cable there to the port. And then we can go plug it into the car. The cable here is actually pretty nice quality. Really thick cable. It's about three feet long. Good connectors on both ends. Doesn't look like that's gonna break or fray up on either end. And then nice and bright too, because a lot of times when you plug it into the car, you can't see where it's plugged into. Um, I kind of like that. So just gonna mate up those two ports. Screw in the connectors here. This is just like screwing in like an old monitor or old printer connector. So we got a secure connection there. And we'll go to the vehicle, power this guy up. Okay, so let's grab this scanner. Got the driver's side door open there. What we're gonna wanna do, when you have one of these is come up under your dashboard here, right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, is my OBD2 port. I've got an insurance monitor in here. So if you have something plugged in, go ahead and unplug that. Then take your yellow connector and you can go ahead and plug that into the exact same port. As soon as we do, screen powers right up. One thing I always like to do with these readers is just hang them over the steering wheel. This one actually is quite a nice size. You got a lot of cable coming up. So even if you wanted to, you know, have it outside the vehicle on the passenger side, you got tons of room to do that with. A couple things. So there's your screen now. Unfortunately, I just went through the menu here quickly and we can't adjust the brightness. So I hope uh, it does show up okay. It does almost look like it would be a touch screen, but it is all keypad driven. So that's what you got there. First thing I'm gonna do is I just got the arrow keys over, move over to setup. So what I always like to do is just take a look at some of the features first. We've got a whole bunch of different languages in there. I like to set up my units. I'm gonna go Imperial, got record mode in here, which we'll get to later. And then the beeper, very glad I can turn that off because that's gonna get annoying, I think. I always like to do that with any of my electronics first. So that's where we go first is our setup. You can just customize it how you want. Now, I mentioned about the online software upgrades. If you check this out, you got your software version there as well. So we can go ahead and double check and see if we need an update um, at that website listed there. And I'll do that at the end of the video. So we've got our menu options on the screen there. 
I've also got a full keypad, so this is pretty easy to figure out. Move left or right on the screen, make your different selections, okay. And then you have a back button as well. So these quick keys here, really nice. Uh, this DTC one, uh, we'll look at that one first. Uh, if we wanna check the engine diagnostic codes, we've, so we've got the DTC button. We can also go up to the screen here, move over to diagnose, hit okay. And then the first option there is read codes. So then it'll go through, see that we have no codes. Now, if we didn't care um, about, you know, going through the menu, wanted to do this a little quicker, that's what they've given us these buttons for. Uh, you know, let's face it, chances are if you're plugging a scanner in, it's to check an engine code. So I hit the DTC button, takes me immediately there to show me that I have no codes. Now, if you do get a code, you're gonna wanna go ahead, write it down, move over here to the lookup field, and then we can go in and look up that code we we found. Um, so I'm gonna do a P300. And the way I'm doing it, just with the arrow keys. So I'd arrow right or left. And then when I get to the field I want to change, I would just go like that, move up or down, hit okay. And then this tells me, you know, it's a misfire code. So we'll right arrow over, up four times, right arrow over, up two times, and now we've got a catalytic converter issue probably with a P420 code. So that's how you'd use the tool to determine what the code means. Um, you know, then you can go ahead and Google it and see you know, that code with your specific model, see what other people have run into. So next button on there is IM. We're gonna hit that and then we're gonna go into the vehicle status state just to see how our vehicle would perform during an emissions test. Now, in this case, got no DTCs, my um, malfunction indicator lamp or check engine light is not on, and we've got all the, uh, the different checks that have gone off there. Now, a couple of those, um, you know, the EVAP one, it will take a little bit of time for that to go, but once you drive the car a bit, it'll, uh, it'll go. If you've got them all X'd out, like that EVAP one, that means, you know, you're gonna have an issue passing passing an emissions test, or if you have your check engine light on, that will also cause you with an issue to pass your test. So this scanner can also tell you those things. If you're gonna pass the test or not, then you can go ahead, see if you have some codes in there, look them up, and then determine what you need to do to repair your vehicle so you'll pass the test. Okay, and the last button they've given us there is that battery button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that now. It brings us to this page here, battery status. So you can see the engine's off. We've got 11.9 volts. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn the engine on. So you can see the voltage drop as the engine turns on, which is, is normal. And now as the alternator is kicking in, we've got 13.3 uh, volts. So those are your main keys that you have there. Like I say, these quick reference keys are really, really nice to have. Makes using this thing a lot easier. So good on launch for throwing those on there. Now there's still a lot more we can do. Um, we can go into the diagnose. And if we needed to erase a code, let's say, um, that's where we would go to do that. So you can just hit okay there. And then it asks you if you are sure you wanna do that. You know, Keep in mind if you do that, it's gonna reset all your um, ready states on the vehicle. So if you are going for an emissions test soon uh, it's probably not going to pass because everything's reset so you will have to drive the vehicle for a couple days um, or at least a few drive cycles before that works and then again in here we have uh, the IM readiness so we can access that there data stream is another feature um, you can you know select the items that you want to view so we can go down we can watch the engine coolant temperature and uh, engine speed let's say so then it'll give us a list of those two things. So you can see how they correlate when you're um, using the vehicle. And you can get a few different um, categories on there as well. You can set the device up, customize it to the way that you want. Now you can also go in here and, and view graphic items. So again, we can go ahead in here and view whatever we like. You could do, we'll do short-term and long-term fuel. So I'm gonna just turn the car on. Then you can see what your fuel trims are doing, you know, as you accelerate. It'll graph that data for you. So if you put an intake system on your car and you wanna see uh, how your, your fuel trims are looking, this is a, a great tool to have in order to do that. So we also have freeze frame here. My vehicle doesn't support that, so I'm not gonna show you that. Um, the O2 sensor. We can go in there, we can check our O2 sensors in all kinds of different uh, parameters there, which is really nice. 
and then we have onboard monitors so we'll go in there and this is kind of like that um, setup we looked at a little bit earlier but with some different options so let's let's say we were getting a p300 code we could also come in here see which cylinder is misfiring you know it gives you all the info on each cylinder this one being a four cylinder car all four cylinders are on there and available for you to go in and look at then you have your evap system test you can go in here and unfortunately this isn't supported on this vehicle either those are your main ones in the diagnostic menu go back out here to the main menu uh, we've we've covered the battery already uh, there is a help section as well just some some basic uh, data on how to uh, use it setup we've gone into an info we've gone into um, so now what we can do is go to review so we can review all this information in here. So we can review, let's just do our DTCs now. There's none recorded, so there's, there's no info in there. Now we can review our data stream as well if we were to record data. Then you can delete the information in there as well. So now if we go to our setup, we can go to record mode. We can turn that on. So now the data that we're getting is being recorded. We can go back to review here and then we can review the data stream. So what we would have to do is, is drive the vehicle and uh, we'll build that data. So that's the launch Sea reader 3008. Uh, just a quick review on it, um, on the, the actual operation of the device and how you can use these different keys. I'm gonna go take a quick drive, record some data, and then we'll go to the computer and uh, check out how all of that portion of it works as well. Okay, so I've got this guy just in my little cell phone holder here. And now that I've got the car, car out of the garage, uh, this screen is super bright. So now that we're there in the main menu, I wanna go to our setup, go to record mode, and we're on. You know, if, if we were off, it'd be like this. Okay button hits you on, we can go back. And now we can go over to diagnose. Just take a sec here. And let's go to our data screen. So now I can view all these different parameters as we drive the vehicle. So I'm just gonna leave it on this one for the sake of it and go for a bit of a drive. One feature I kinda like is this all data. If we wanna view everything that's on this page, I can just hit okay and then it will go into a streaming page where we'll have all that info on there. So there we are into a graph view of live engine data. You know, and you can pretty much put anything on here that uh, this unit is capable of doing. You can graph two items at a time. Um, you know, that may change with software upgrades, but right now it's just two items at a time. So now to go ahead and review data, I've come back inside, I've powered it up with USB. If we press this button here, it'll turn on into our normal mode. We can go over to our review data. We'll go review data stream. So I've got a couple different logs I've saved in here. So we'll select the second one. When you get into the data stream here, you can just uh, scroll with the arrow key. You can see my engine RPM and speed are changing. So that's a really cool feature I like about this scanner. You know, you, and you don't have to do it uh, in the vehicle. It doesn't have to be plugged into the OBD2. Just with that USB cable powering it, you're able to go through the different data that you've seen in the scanner. So it's kind of a cool uh, little thing that you can do on this one. So there you go. There is a brief review and unboxing on this C Reader 3008 from launch. I definitely want to thank those guys uh, for this Christmas present that they sent me. Really appreciate it. And they didn't even ask me to do this video on it. Um, this is just something I wanted to do to say thanks to them. So if you guys are looking for a higher end scanner, um, kind of middle of the road to uh, you know accomplish most stuff for the weekend guy this will definitely be uh, one to take a look at um, it's really well built a couple of the key features again on it that i want to go over are the color screen really bright really easy to read uh, holds in your hand nice very quality construction buttons and cables the ability to print the data off to review the data later and uh, also the basic functions like emissions, uh, diagnostic code, lookup, that type of stuff. So really, really impressed with this and uh, definitely think you guys should check it out. There's links in the descriptions if you wanted to uh, make a purchase on this scanner.